guys got the armor creighton v2 back out for another run uh, with this m2c bash bar that's on here again this has been a been a game changer for this truck again i did have a crack in the chassis right there from the battery shifting down and a slam the little uh, battery retainer piece uh, through the chassis that's why that broke but this piece right here this uh, chassis brace held this truck together through a really hard bash uh, tons of really hard ramp hits and uh, some super uh, slaps on the gravel and stuff and this sucker still held together i have a new chassis for it i just want to run it again and see how long I can go with this M2C brace and just see if she holds it together. Um, I'm gonna do a little more of a freestyle bash. Uh, no big ramp jumps right now. I came out to a little freestyle spot I like to come to. Uh, this video may be a little more uncut. We'll see how it goes just to uh, try something a little bit different. But I did go ahead and switch out the electronics in here. Um, again, I do have the BLX 185 and I did go to a uh, Team Corelli Skeeter 4S motor because I put a 6S system in my Skeeter. This is the uh, Curon uh, 2150 KV. That's a 40 size can. I'm not sure what the length is on it, but it's a, it should be a perfect motor for this truck, uh, being that's a 4S motor. Again, it's 2150, so I'm running a 19 tooth pinion in it. We're going to see how it goes with the heat and stuff. But um, I'm running a huge HRB 9500 milliamp battery pack in here. It's going to have lots of runtime. A little bit heavier than what I like to run in these trucks, but I just want to uh, see how that goes. But we're going to give her a quick little freestyle and see what's up. That was a pretty hard hit to the front arms there. Yes, sir, that's, that's some arma tough. All right, guys, I dropped down to a 15 tooth pinion from that 19 I had on that uh, 2150 kV uh, motor. It's just a little bit too much, pulling too many amps. My connections were getting too hot. I had one come unsoldered, so I dropped down to a 15. Should be plenty of speed uh, for out here, so we'll just uh, see how it goes.
right in the woods. Now we gotta go hiking for it. Guys, let's hit this mound full bore. See what happens. <laughs> Don't know where she went. All right, guys, again, so far this chassis is holding together right here, just doing some serious freestyle, smacking these mounds and stuff. It's really hard on it. This uh, brace is taking a beating right here, but I still got that big hole in the chassis, and this truck is still together in one piece and still going strong. So, big shout out to M2C Racing. Oh! They don't like that uh, mulch. <laughs> Spin her around. Yeah, I thought I'd do something a little more, a uh, little different. A little less editing. Hey, what guys? This thing is taking a hammering. <laughs> Speed trap. This mulch is so soft it stops it in its tracks. Let's try that again. See if we can come off the side of it. There we go. Tough little cookie. And she's on her feet. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now on the uh, Creighton 4S V2. Again, this is such a pleasurable vehicle to drive. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably the best 110 basher you can get for all-around bashing. Uh, with the truggy stance on it and the handling is just second to none, especially for this uh, particular platform, this 4S platform. 
The M2C uh, brace right here is still holding this chassis together despite that nasty uh, break right there, that hole in the chassis. This thing was taking some major poundings off these hills and stuff and uh, still holding this sucker together. So big thanks to Mitch and Avery from M2C Racing. This design may change a little bit for the finished product, but it will keep you guys updated and it should be available soon. The 15 tooth pinion worked out perfect in that 2150 kV motor. She ran a lot, a lot cooler, a lot less amps, but still gave me plenty of power. So I'm gonna definitely keep that set up in her. All right guys, we'll get out again soon. Until next time, RC Dude 81, peace out. Thank you.